हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द ड्राइवर्स हब एंड वेलकम टू आर ऑफिस स्टिल अ वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस फॉलो अस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फॉर मोर अपडेट्स सो टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट अ कार व्हिच इज क्वाइट अंडररेटेड एंड दिस इज द कार दैट एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड द 1 लीटर टर्बोचार्ज 3 सिलेंडर इंजन ट्रेंड इन इंडिया एंड नो इट इज नॉट द पोलो टीएसआई एंड इट इज नॉट द युंडई आई20 एन लाइन इन फैक्ट दिस इज अ कार दैट एक्चुअली केम टू आवर इंडियन शोर्स और वाज एक्चुअली बिल्ट ऑन आवर इंडियन शोर्स लाइक प्रोबब्ली 2 और 3 इयर्स बिफोर the polo 1 liter tsi or even the n line was heard of in india and yeah i'm talking about the baleno rs so now you must be thinking why are we not doing the video the usual way that we do it well that's because our audio basically decided to not really work when we were filming that video and yeah the audio is really bad now before the 1 liter tsi and 1 liter tgdi came this the suzuki booster jet engine so let's talk about the design of the baleno rs well it doesn't look that different to a normal baleno it has a splitter in the front it has some side skirts the wheels come blacked out from the factory and you get the baleno rs badging here and there that's basically it so that's a really cool thing that i like about the baleno rs is because maruti didn't go for a very flashy looking or a very over the top design for the more performance oriented version of the baleno they kept it subtle and they kept it sleek just the way i like it now just like i said the baleno rs was actually the first hot hatch in india to come with a 1 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine and yeah this was before the polo 1 liter tsi or even before the hyundai i20 turbo or i20 n line was introduced in india so this technically is that car to start the trend of the 1 liter turbo 3 and the specs are not as good as the competition when it came out well it used to make 100 bhp and 150 nm of torque from its 1 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine and this engine is kind of special if you think about it because this is the 1 liter booster jet engine and this engine is only found in the baleno rs you don't find it in the vitara brezza the grand vitara or any of the other maruti suzuki models that have come to india This is the only car to get this engine so it is a international edition engine which is introduced in a Indian hot hatchback now yes calling the baleno rs a hot hatchback is a little bit of a stretch but well it is a fun car to drive and it stays true to the hot hatch formula because it has a fun peppy little engine and most importantly it is mated to a 5 speed manual transmission it doesn't get the crappy transmission that hyundai has introduced with the imt or even the dct gearbox If you want to have fun in a hot hatchback a manual transmission is the way to go now talking about the interior the baleno rs interior is well like a suzuki it's how you would expect yes it has some scratchy plastics all over the place but overall it's a very good interior because first of all it's super spacious it has tons and tons of space and if you compare it to the polo tsi or i20 n line that's where the baleno rs truly shines because it is such a spacious car on the inside now the infotainment system is pretty decent it's much better than tata i would say because the animations the user interface is at least easier to use yeah it's not the best looking and not the most intuitive but at least it's easy to use you get two massive analog dials in the instrument cluster one is your tachometer and one is your uh, speedometer and you do get a little mid in the middle which shows you your trip data your car info and all of that other stuff Now talking about the way the Baleno RS drives well initial thoughts is that when you start driving it like a normal human being well it doesn't really feel that different to a 1.2 NA Baleno because that's how Suzuki has tuned it but once you start going into the boost range of the turbocharged engine that's where you really feel the extra torque that you would expect from a turbocharged engine after 3000 rpm yep this thing actually flies and that is because The Baleno RS well it doesn't weigh a lot because Maruti Suzuki isn't known for its safety features the car is actually quite light and per 100 bhp to such a light car you can actually feel that power going through the car 
Now Suzuki has stayed true to the hot hatch formula like I said and the 5 speed manual transmission is very fun to drive with and that's what elevates the experience of the Baleno RS when it is compared to the Polo TSI or even the i20 N-Line for sure because the i20 N-Line comes with the crappy IMT and the DCT option and the Polo's uh, 6 speed manual gearbox isn't the best out there now the Baleno's gearbox is definitely better than the Polo TSI's gearbox. It's much more slick, much more easier to engage in gear and overall it's just a very fun experience. Now, yes, when it comes to just raw power, it does fall short to both of the Korean and German competitors that it has. But that is nothing to worry about because the car is so light, it actually, I would say, accelerates as fast as a Polo TSI if you know how to drive the car properly. Now, yes, the engine isn't the most tuner friendly because not a lot of people have actually won, bought the Baleno RS so there isn't a real big market for tuners to actually tap into the engine and create parts, create tunes and also not a very tuner friendly engine and two, well, the engine is just not as good as the 1.0 litre TSI. But where you trade off for power, Suzuki has brought in fuel economy and this thing actually gives some really impressive fuel economy numbers. Now if you go through forums, if you go through a lot of spec sheets and a lot of reviews, the 1 litre booster jet engine actually can give you 21 kmpl on a very good day and that's actually much better than the Polo 1 litre TSI Hyundai i20 N-Line. Now that's a trade off that is actually worth looking for because well, that's classic Suzuki for you. Well, there is one major problem with the Baleno RS if you're an enthusiast. Well, you cannot find one on the used car market and that's because Suzuki actually didn't sell a lot of Baleno RSs in India. So that makes the Baleno RS a very difficult car to buy because, well, first of all, it's discontinued. Now you cannot buy one new from the showroom. And the second thing is, well, since they were sold in such less numbers, well, yeah, they're very rare to find on the used car market. Now, there were two types of Baleno RSs that were launched in India. One was the pre-facelift and the other was the facelift version. And both were basically identical apart from a couple of uh, bumper changes done to the car. But both of them were sold in such less quantities. Well, it's practically impossible to find one. But if you do find one and if it's a genuine RS because, well, there are a lot of counterfeit Baleno RSs that you can find in the market. Because the car doesn't look that different to its normal, normal uh, variant if you just slap on a couple of RS badges people will think it's a Baleno RS but make sure that you open up the hood and check if you see the booster jet engine cover if you don't see that in your Baleno RS that you're trying to buy most likely that car that you're seeing to buy is not a Baleno RS and is most probably the 1.2 NA engine so do look out for these things when you're trying to buy a Baleno RS of your own and watch out for the next video where we're actually reviewing a stage 2 Baleno RS which is super rare because not a lot of people work on these cars so stay tuned for that till then subscribe to our channel tell us in the comments down below what you think of the Baleno RS is it a car that you would actually choose over something like a Polo TSI or an i20 N-Line and do let us know in the comments down below follow us on Instagram and also check out our new channel TDH Motorsports where we'll be talking more about Formula 1 WRC and all of those other things